good afternoon, beautiful and blessed people. Listen, I'm just going to get right into this because um, <laughs> I want to expound on a post that I left up, I want to say a couple of days ago. We allowing the enemy to to get away with too much. We 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 allowing them to just go rampant, and um, we saying to ourselves, "I'm not gonna expose the enemy. I'm gonna just let God handle it. I'm gonna leave it in God's hands." And we being mousy about it, we being meek about it, and holier than thou about it. But truth be told, God ain't put us here to be taking all no crap somebody lying on you stealing from you and, and carrying on and and spreading rumors and god ain't put us here to take all that and yes we can leave it in his hands but this is for the ones that ain't leaving it in his hands and you think you're leaving it in his hands because when you own that job and they mess up your check you ain't letting them get away with it okay you exposing them you cursing them out okay you putting them in their place and you waiting on your coins Okay, you ain't going through the drive through and, and letting them give you your change back less two cents. Okay, you want every single dime back, every single penny back. But then you say, oh, I'm going to leave it in God's hands, but waiting on even a cent <laughs> at the drive through when they shortchange you. And so when you say to yourself, oh, every battle ain't worth fighting. Yeah, every. That mean none of them ain't worth fighting. If you're going to say every bur every battle ain't worth fighting, that mean none of them. Because when you want every cent back, you want every dime back, that means they better not shortchange you on none of your money. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some Christians or there are some people out there that says, I am going to leave it all in God's hands. And they do so. And they do so. And then when they're ready to expose the enemy or, the, or God is ready to release them to expose the enemy, the enemy, he does. He does. When you went and you exposed the enemy, a lot of people may have called that messy. But you're one of the ones that stay in God's face, that leaves everything in God's hands. And so when it's time for him to release the dragon in you to expose the enemy, he will do so. And one's looking at you like you're the messy one. No, a lot of times we around here letting the enemy run rampant. And we ain't exposing them. Don't pick and choose what you're going to expose. Okay? Don't be, and this go for the dudes too. Don't be at the gym and, and you next in line for the dumbbells. But buddy done skipped you and he and he up on there. And you like, that's okay, dog. But then get home and fight on your wife. Okay? Don't be all meek with these ones at the grocery store, ladies. And they skipping you and everything and going in front of them. You said, go ahead. That's okay. Being all mousy, but when you get home, you causing your husband pure hell. So I, I just want to come on here and just wrap that up and expound on, you know, we got to start exposing the enemy. Don't care how you do it, because you're doing it anyway, to my waiting on God, okay? Expose the enemy. God ain't put us here for the enemy to run rapid on us, especially through the lies and, and carrying on and the messing is carrying on and the gossiping and all that expose the enemy. Y'all have a good Saturday. Bye-bye.